what they were doing is ridding the camp of Paramiscus maniculatus, or the deer mouse. The deer mouse is the main vector or uh, the main reservoir host of hantavirus, C. nomadivirus, that was first discovered in Four Corners. It is deadly. It is, has a case fatality rate of something like 40 to 52% or so, depending on what part of the world you check in. So it is incredibly important to get rid of. They got rid of the mouse. Now these cabins had nothing to feed on. The ticks still existed. They crawled literally out of the woodwork and fed, right, transmitting some pathogens. Um, we do study hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome in our lab as well. Um, it, again, we're looking at the dynamics within the deer mouse. Um, again, showing you our, our luck with in, uh, infectious disease here in the four corners. Arizona happens to be one of the higher areas um, that um, you become infected with this pathogen. This is how you become infected with it. Really, it's the inhalation of fresh feces or urine in an enclosed space from a mouse that was living in that enclosed space. Okay, so just something to think about. Um, we have done some extensive modeling with, these, with this pathogen where we looked at both its distribution on the landscape, looking at it spatially, and, and using those exact same surveillance sites from all over the place that I talked to you earlier, and we've been able to determine still that that pathogen also exists anywhere from 5 to 15 percent everywhere we've looked. Okay, um, so we made a couple of models. This is a model of the four corners. Um, in red is where you would find the virus, and as it goes to green, the virus should kind of go away. Um, it's a probability distribution. What the main take home of this is that we mapped both the mouse and the virus, and what we see is that the virus, its distribution is nested within the distribution of the mouse. So the virus has its own biology, okay, its own biology, even though it's within predominantly the deer mouse. 